I ditched my smartphone for a week and it changed my life. I slept better and got more done. Tired of being a slave to your smartphone? Feeling anxious, addicted, and missing out on real life? You're not alone. Millions are joining the dumb phone revolution, and here's why. I think you create opportunities to connect with people that uh, are eliminated when you're already preoccupied. Introducing the dumb phone. The simple solution to a complex problem. No more endless scrolling, no more FOMO, just pure, unadulterated freedom. So, what exactly is a dumb phone? Well, it's the opposite of what you're probably holding right now. No touchscreens, no app stores, no endless notifications. Dumb phones come in all shapes and sizes. From retro flip phones that'll give you major nostalgia vibes. To sleek, minimalist models that look like they are from the future. But what can you do with a dumb phone? Well, the basics, and that's the beauty of it. You can make calls, send texts, set alarms, and maybe even do some light browsing, if you're feeling adventurous. What you won't find on a dumb phone is what makes smartphones so addictive. No social media, no constant notifications, no endless doom scrolling. Just peace, quiet, and the freedom to be present in the moment. Mental health and focus. Let's face it, our smartphones are making us miserable. The constant notifications, the endless scrolling, the fear of missing out. It's all taking a toll on our mental health. Studies show that excessive smartphone use is linked to increased anxiety, depression, and even physical ailments. It's no wonder that digital detox is one of the fastest growing trends in wellness. That's where dumb phones come in. By eliminating the constant distractions, they allow us to focus on what truly matters. Our well-being, our relationships, and the world around us. Gen Z's disillusionment. It's not just older folks who are ditching their smartphones. Gen Z, the generation that grew up with technology, is leading the charge. They are tired of the pressure to be always online, the curated highlight reels, and the endless comparisons. Dumb phones offer Gen Z a way to reclaim their authenticity and connect with others on a deeper level. Without the filters and facades of social media, the tech minimalism movement, the dumb phone trend is part of a larger movement called tech minimalism. It's about simplifying our lives, decluttering our digital spaces, and being more intentional about how we use technology. Studies show that many of us have a problematic relationship with our smartphones. I was excited about the potential of a light phone. Do you have any advice for me as I ditch my iPhone and I use uh, a light phone instead? Uh, I mean, patience is probably um, one of the biggest things. We feel addicted, stressed, and overwhelmed. Tech minimalism offers a way to regain control and create a healthier balance. The dumb phone revolution is more than just a trend. It's a shift in how we view technology and its role in our lives. It's about prioritizing our well-being, our relationships, and our own happiness. The dumb phone market. The dumb phone revolution isn't just a fringe movement. It's a booming market. By the end of 2024, dumb phone sales are projected to reach a staggering $10.6 billion. Even celebrities and influencers are jumping on board, proving that you don't need the latest iPhone to be cool or successful. Alternative solutions and apps. Now, I know what you're thinking, I'm not ready to give up my smartphone entirely. And that's okay. There are plenty of ways to curb your smartphone addiction without going full dumb phone. To show you one sec which is an app to helps you that helps you to reduce your social media usage and to start i'm just going to demonstrate how it works when i open twitter instead of opening twitter it will prompt me to take a deep breath a breathing exercise to reflect on what i was actually doing right now and i can really take a second to think if i really wanted to open twitter or if it was just a subconscious thing that my brain did because um, 
it's just a habit in the end um, to get some immediate dopamine effects. Um, so this app really has two main factors it can help you with your social media usage. The first one is right away you will notice that unconscious op app openings of social media, of games, of news will be heavily reduced because you will be reminded to think and to reflect about what you are actually doing right now. So this helps with that, which is already great. The second thing is um, the app also helps with long-term desire to open social media. In my case, I've been using this app for about two, three months and my desire to open Instagram or Twitter just because I'm bored has dropped significantly because this app really adds this additional friction to open apps and it, it just rebalances the dopamine desire that the brain gets from, from opening such an app and the brain basically realizes maybe it's, it's not worth to wait 10 seconds to open Instagram. And in the end, you can, you can see what, what is actually the value of an app when you don't want to wait 10 seconds to enter it. It's not worth it for your brain. Um, but it's still, if you want to look up some important information um, uh, or you want to open a direct message um, to look up some, some details or look up an event, you can still do it um, if you press continue on Twitter. This is only possible after the breathing exercise, but it's, uh, this is the whole point. Apps like Unplug, Minimalist Phone, and One Second can help you set boundaries, reduce distractions, and be more intentional about your smartphone usage. The future of dumb phones. So what does the future hold for dumb phones? Are they just a fad or are they here to stay? I think the answer is clear. Dumb phones are the future. As more and more people discover the benefits of disconnecting, the demand for dumb phones will only continue to grow. We'll likely see more innovative designs, improved functionality, and even a wider range of apps and services specifically tailored to dumb phone users. Have you tried a dumb phone? Are you considering making the switch? I want to hear from you. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about the future of technology and how we can create a healthier relationship with our devices. They are not too limited. They work for emergencies. They are a viable option for staying connected with friends and family. Google searches for flip phone jumped by triple digits over the past five years. When I got my flip phone, things instantly changed. One student, part of a club promoting a social media-free lifestyle, told the New York Times, it made me observe myself as a person. Just as smartphones and social media have exploded, so has the rate of teen depression. What's the balance of connection and presence with those in my life that I want? And how do phones either add to that or take away from that? Every generation can answer that question 